Okay, here's a plan view of my um, my restaurant so far. And this is the kitchen in here, and this is the dining room area. What I want to be able to do is this this wall here, which at the moment is a solid wall. I want to be able to cut a rectangular square out of that, so that the customers in the restaurant can actually see through and see their food being cooked. If I go into the 3D view, it'll give you a better idea. This this wall here, I, I want to be able to see through it. The problem is, is at the moment, is to do that, I need to be able to, be able to get onto this wall and do what's called a cut or cut some um, material away. And the best way of doing that is to create something called a sectional view. At the moment, if I uh, wanted to see this end view, okay, that would be my east elevation. So if I look at my east elevation by double clicking it, this is what I see. So this is the, the sticking out bit of the wall, this is the recessed bit. And this is the double doors where you enter into the restaurant. But I can't see the wall behind it, which is where I want to cut things out from. Okay, so this is what I need to do. I'm going to go back into my ground floor view. And I'm going to try and put a section view straight through here, which allows me to look from this line backwards. Easiest way to do it is to come up to this top here where it says section. This creates a new section for me. I'm just going to draw that section through that area there. Now the only problem I've got at the moment is that this section is pointing the wrong way. So if I click on it, it's going to view left to right. I want it to go from right to left. So I'm going to choose that. So the arrow's pointing now towards the bit I'm going to be looking at, which is this wall here. So I've done that. I can um, click off and say escape to keep that. And actually to go to that view, all I need to do is to double click on this section line. And it takes me into that view. This is the double doors that go from the uh, dining area into the kitchen area. So I want to use this wall here and cut a shape out of it. So I'm going to select my wall until it goes blue. I'm going to come up here to edit profile. So this is automatically gone into modify as soon as I selected the wall view. I'm going to choose modify. And all I need to do is I need to use one of these tools to cut the shape out and then tick the green to say that's all good. So I want a rectangular shape. I'm going to go for this one here. And I'm just going to draw. Now you'll see it's trying to lock to certain shapes. It knows there's a window on the opposite wall. And it knows there's a door here. It knows the heights of them. So I'm going to use those just to keep it neat and tidy. And I'm going to go to about there. And I'm going to click. So if I'm happy with that, all I need to do is to click my tick. And it will cut that area out. You can see it's gone a different color now. And if I now go into my 3D view, you can see it's cut that area out. So literally, that, that's looking through at the um, from the dining room area into the kitchen area. Now I can still go back into that one. If I decide that that wall cutout is actually too big, what I can do is go back into my ground floor view, go back into that sectional view by double clicking. And if I select and drag, I can move that cutout. You can see the blue arrows. There you go. I've made the cutout much. In fact, that's probably too too much I've taken, so let's put it back again. And I'll go back into my 3D view and have a look. Now you can see the gap, if I zoom in, the gap between the doorway and the wall is slightly bigger. The first one I did was, it was too close, so structurally that wouldn't have been sound. It probably would have made the door fall out of, the, um, out of its casement. Okay, but that's how we can create extra sections or cut sections out of walls.